supply pressures, particularly to our citizens. I have given approval to the CBN that the old 200 Naira banknotes be released back into circulation and that it should also be allowed to circulate as legal tender with the new 200 Naira, 500 Naira, and 1,000 Naira banknotes for 60 days from February 10th, 2023 to April 10th, 2023, when the old 200 Naira notes ceases to be legal tender. In line with Section 20, Subsection 3 of the CBN Act 2007, all existing old 1,000 Naira and 500 Naira notes remain redeemable as CBN and designated points. Considering the health of our economy and the legacy we must bequeath to the next administration and future generations of Nigerians, I admonish every citizen to strive harder to make their deposits by taking advantage of the platforms and windows being provided by the CVN. Let me assure Nigeria. Okay, so the president lamented that the currency in circulation grew from 1.4 trillion in 2015 when he assumed office to 3.23 trillion at the end of 2022. He, however, said that 2.1 trillion of the cash in circulation had been retrieved since the launch of the Naira redesign policy of the federal government on October 26, 2022. Now, what are your thoughts on this development? And do you think that President Muhammadu Buhari's plan, you know, to fight corruption, to curb all the works, the reasons that they gave for this Naira redesign, do you think that plan will work, reintroducing the 200 Naira notes, uh, you know, in the market? Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa 1 with the hashtag Wayshow. All right, so this conversation is quite interesting. You know, so when I saw those guys bringing in money, and I'll come to you, Uti, um, back to the CBN, right? Um, my thought were, okay, so were these people really not taking a central bank of Nigeria seriously that they kept 150 million Naira at home? What if, you know, there was no extension? What would have happened? So is that not why we're seeing all the agitations there? Some people are actually fueling, you know, people to go and cause rancor. Because the truth is, honestly, the people that truly need the money and that go to queue at ATMs, they are not the people that... It is the people that need 2,000 naira, 5,000 5, naira, right? The real people with real money, can't, you can't catch them staying in the bank from morning to night in the name of trying to withdraw money. Do you understand? So I, I, I'm trying to get um, a bit of clarity here. But Uti, um, President Buhari has reintroduced 200 naira notes for the next 60 days alongside the new 500 and new 1,000 naira notes. What are your thoughts? Because earlier today, I passed through the airport and we had to pay 400 naira. I had to ask the guy, do you have new notes to give me back? Because if you don't have new notes, me, I will not pay you. And most of the businesses, they are not cashless. A lot of these things, you know, I was telling my sister, I said, see, this is why there's corruption. Because if I'm paying as high as 400 naira, why can't I just scan a QR code or something and pay directly to Adobe? You want to collect cash, you know? So, I mean, the, the system that we are so cash-driven has also really, really fueled corruption. Because mm -hmm. now... I told you people about a, a, a luggage that my sister had sent to me as a gift from France. I, they, it was supposed to be delivered to my house. They didn't deliver it to my house. They delivered it. They, they intercepted it and took it to Shomolu, the um, uh, night post in Shomolu. Mm -hmm. They now called me up and said, I should come and bring 190,000 naira. 195,000 naira. You know that we ended up paying 50,000 naira for that load. But that payment is nowhere in any record because they insisted that we had to pay cash. You know, so there's corruption in the in the land. There's yeah. heavy corruption in the land. So when I see policies like this, it tells me that okay, maybe somebody genuinely wants to just solve the problem. But you see, it's not really my say because I'm not a finance expert. Yeah. I don't know how this will impact, and that's why I want to come to Uti first. Help me establish this um, this conversation. The reintroduction of the 200 naira. What do you think? You know, would it help? Would it work? What? So, um, <clears throat> thanks, Ua. 
It's an interesting one. Um, I listened to the president's broadcast this morning. And, you know, throughout the whole time when he was talking, I was just going, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, what, what, what is it? What is the solution? What are you bringing to alleviate the, the pain of the average Nigeria? Um, so when he said that they were reducing, re, um, reintroducing the old 200 naira notes um, into the system to support the 200, the new 200, 500, and 1,000 naira notes as well for a 60-day window. I thought, okay, that's interesting. So that is, at least they've done something to attempt to alleviate the pain or the issue, the situation that's going on. So in fact, the, the broadcast had ended. And then I found myself thinking, hang on, how much of this money is in 200 naira notes denominations? So if we have managed to reclaim 2.1 trillion in deposits, um, it would have been nice if we had a sense of what um, constituted the percentage of that amount that is in the 200 naira notes denomination for us to properly assess whether this is actually going to alleviate the situation or if it is just a, a way to keep us going until the election, because he then also spoke about the election being on the 25th and urging everyone to go out and vote. So I did a bit of research and um, the closest I could find was that, I think it was about 55% of money in circulation um, was actually 1,000 Naira notes. And that the um, 200 Naira notes in circulation was only about 5%. 5%. But again, this is just general sort of you know, research. You know, I don't have the exact statistics, but this was me just trying to find information mm. around what this would actually mean if that money was reintroduced into the system. I think the other key thing to mention is that this issue has always been, I don't think anybody who is truly a patriot of Nigeria and who has, like you said, understood the implications of corruption and how cash facilitates corruption. I think if you can look at it from a logical neutral point of view, you can agree that what they're trying to do is a good thing, hmm. right? So the problem here is not the policy. The problem is the implementation. True. Because here you have, from the video that you showed, here's 150 million, million. that one person <laughs> is bringing in, in cash. Now, the banking system has a fairly robust BVN. Um, the amount, and this is where we talk about the different databases that we have in Nigeria and everything. You have BVN. You have um, uh, the, what's that thing called now? Is it the SCOML certificate that businesses have to have? Hmm. Um, we have all these different areas. We have NFI, we have EFCC. We have a whole, you know, industry around managing fraud, managing corruption, just all of that. But here is somebody rocking up to CBN with a hundred and fifty million there. <laughs> like, who is, like, what questions do you ask? Because if you are a genuine business, you'd have found a way to pay this money. Because I don't know any business that can afford to write off 150 million like that. Hmm. Even if you say that it's a billionaire company, 150 million is not a drop in the ocean. At all. So the fact is, we can see that it is an implementation thing. Because the people who are suffering, they're not looking for, some people are not even looking for 100,000 naira. Hmm. They're literally looking for 2K, 2K 5K, 5K. yes. And all of that. So given that there is data, given that there is information, how could we not um, cut off the head of the snake at both sides? Let me put it that way. Hmm. Because you could f have fought corruption without affecting the, day, the everyday man. Because we all can read between the lines to say, we understand what it is that you're trying to achieve. We understand trying to mop up the Naira that is floating around. Everything, it, you know, it's all very laudable. It really was just the implementation that, that was has the now problem. brought people to the point where Absolutely. Um, it's a boiling point. So so there's there's just so much to unpack there, but I think I'll stop there. And, okay. And, um, you know what? So, uh, so that we can also bring in our viewers early enough, let's just quickly go out on a break. When we come back, we'll open our phone lines and I'll hear Jennifer and Alera's thoughts on this. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, if you just tuned in, we are discussing the old Naira withdrawal, and we're asking, will PMB's plan work? And is our ladies' night out? Now, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 8 one 803 You can also tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow. Then our phone line is now open. The number to call is 070-2500-7749. That's the number to call. 07025 Remember to turn up the volume of your whatever device it is that you're watching us from. Okay, so Jennifer and Alero. Let me come to you, Jennifer, then I'll come to Alero. What are your thoughts on this reintroduction of the 200 naira note? Do you think it will help? At least all the rancor we saw at those state people shouting they don't have money and all of that. Because really, the people that need money, mm. right, are queuing at ATMs, sleeping at ATMs, camping at ATMs. It's two, that 200 naira would truly cater to them, right? At least if they have the 200 naira to, to work, move around with. But again, hearing Uti saying only 5%. You know, would they, are, they, are there plans for them to, like, um, like produce more mm -hmm. of that note? But let me hear your thoughts on this. Honestly, I'm actually still very confused mm. by this because I don't know and I don't understand how um, reintroducing the old 200 Naira notes and taking it out after 60 days, what that would do. It's either you, if you already have the new notes, so just get more. <laughs> <laughs> put more in the ATMs and let people have access to this money. And that's what people are asking for. I don't think anybody needs the old 200 naira to come back and into so maybe situation. And so maybe they didn't manufacture enough 200 naira or they didn't print enough 200 naira notes. So maybe that's why they want to say, okay, plus the new 200 naira note that is in existence mm -hmm. and the existing uh, 200 naira note, let's flood all of it back into the market. That's, my, that's what I think. You know. So if you flood if you flood that amount or that note back into the market, you have people carrying bundles of two hundred naira. Old and new. Yeah, old and new. And it just causes a lot of confusion. So what happens? Once it sixty days is over, you tell people, Okay, come back. No, though at least they'll give you like some... So whatever two hundred you have left, come back again to the bank and then return <laughs> it. I don't understand. I I, I, I don't get it. You're trying to understand it. Okay, let me let me ask Alera if she understands it. Alera, what do you think? Okay, you know what, Alero, please hold on your, th your thoughts. Let me just take our first caller for the evening. I'll come to you, Alero. Sebastian, you're yeah. live. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, good, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Uh, no, that is, uh, no, it's correct, it's correct, no problem. Uh, what, I, what I saw, the policy that the government brings to us, although it's a hard, it's very bitter on us, but one thing we know, good things doesn't come easy. Yes, we know how politicians, they are trying to manipulate their way to buy votes. And this thing that we disturbing us, this is the problem of Nigeria. All these people, all these big politicians that they have money, because they seem to be above the law. So what I know from our president is in order not to try to avoid uh, all these problems, he, he bring the policy. So the policy now is biting on, on us. We know that we, it is not easy for us to do this. In fact, the, the governors, the APC governors that are doing this thing, we want them to come down. Because we have this work, poor scarcity, as we strike, all those ones, okay. nobody go to, to... Thank you, Sebastian. Thank you, Sebastian. Uh, so, the, <clears throat> I think the fuel situation has calmed down, right? So, let's, let's just move past that. Um, Alero, your thoughts on this? Do you think President Mohamed Bouhari's plans will work? So, for me, whether we like it or not, whether it's going to work or not, we have to wait wait it out, experience it. I mean, like you said, the bottom lines are the ones suffering from this. In fact, last week, there was a very, very embarrassing experience that I had. I needed cash. My phone went bad and I had to quickly just sort it out. I needed cash. I couldn't get cash. So I was telling myself that, okay, maybe if when I go to the bank and I tell them that it's dollar I want to withdraw, they will allow me to enter the bank. When I got to the front of the, what they call it, the entrance of the bank, 
And the guy asked me, what do you want? Because I saw crowd. And I was thinking that maybe because the dollar is not Naira, they will give me a different treatment. But more, it's not, it's the same. If That's... you see the number of people that wanted to eat me up because I said I wanted to be draw dollar and it's not Naira. I said, nobody, everybody just wants Who to Who are you? <laughs> Let me take back yeah, my mood for me to cover my face to walk away because I was like, Jesus. And me, I was saying, okay, because if I go out, I will not collect naira. So let me cook, cook collect dollar so I can go and change that. It that's still so everybody is absolutely touch his hand, touch everybody. Yeah, let me take my mood. We have a caller from Meduguri. Mahmoud, you're live. Hello, more effort. It's a good policy, and if you look deep into it, even those targeted with the policy, uh, they have missed. The target already because the elites are not suffering from the main target of the policy. It's only the poor masses who are being devastated are still suffering from this policy. The good policy, but is untimely. So I get so, you, uh, I get you, Mohammed. To look into it seriously to see to ease the sufferings of our communities and the uh larger society okay so i get you mohammed thank you so much so it's ill-timed and that's why i think that they have realized that okay this thing was ill-timed yeah. right so that's why they brought back the 200 naira um notes back into the market at least for the next 60 days we will not be complaining of money shortage because it's money shortage that is the problem mm. right it's not it's not that oh there was a new currency is that the currency was not enough so what these guys were thinking, like the way these guys have taken 150 million to the CBN, yeah. they are expected to collect 150 million of the new, of the new, notes. new notes. So yeah. that's why a lot of people were hoarding their old currencies because if they take the money to the bank, they are not certain that the bank can give them what they have given them. You understand? Mm. So if I give you 150 million, you're not giving me 150 million back. If I even yeah. get one million naira, I'll be lucky yeah. to get back one million naira mm -hmm. from you. So that's why a lot of people were not, you know, having it that they wanted to return their old currencies. But now the reintroduction of 200 um, Naira, it will help at least the mass market. Because again, it is the mass market that really suffered the hit. Yeah. And I think this is like trying to correct the, the, the they feel like, oh, we made a mistake. Mm -hmm. So let's try to correct it. I think this is what, what this reintroduction is. But I think we have a caller, um, Maya, I believe. Ilya from Bauchi. Hello, Ilya. So, intentionally, what I know is that uh, Nigerians are not out for the poor. So, in now, with the vast now, we are ready on 25th, obviously, this month. Sorry, Ilya, we, we are finding it difficult to, to hear you. But let me come to you back, um, um, Alero, then I'll come to Uti. Right? I, I mean, yes, people are suffering. But um, someone was giving the analysis today and he said, see, if I needed to withdraw um, 100 million in 200,000, 200 naira notes, mm. it's a lot of bulky movement, yeah. right? Yeah. Compared to if I withdrew that same amount in a 1,000 Naira note or 500 Naira yeah. notes. So now, reintroducing the 200 Naira notes, do you think it will help in any way to fight this money politics, which is what literally like all of these things is about, like trying to make sure that this election is not, um, you know, bombarded with money? So, so for me, I feel like it's, because, I mean, what's the point of, of actually saying that we can actually spend the old the old 200 naira notes when the initial thought was to, you know, change things? So it just seems like you're going, because it's still money, it still has value, it can still be spent. And it's, fine, it's even worse because it's now going to be in larger quantity, like you mentioned. So for me, I still don't understand why they can't just make the process easy. Because the fact that it's limiting, like when, you know, when, when this, the fact that there's scarcity, is actually causing so much unrest. But even the solution that they have created, which is this, making sure that, okay, you have, you know, the old 200 naira note and you can still spend it, it still doesn't change anything. It still doesn't change So, anything. Uti, let me come to Uti. What do you think they should have done differently if they wanted to make this policy work? I think that, first and foremost, the, the awareness. So, there was a lot of awareness around... Um, <clears throat> or they tried to drive the awareness of the campaign, right? 
um, and focused on having people um, pay in their money. Now, the first approach towards paying in the money said, everybody, whatever money you have, go to the banks. But we first of all have a largely, a large underbanked and um, unbanked population, right? So not everybody, some people live pure, you know, cash existences, right? They don't have bank account. So, Uti, you know what? Hold that thought, Uti. Let me take Francis from Lagos. He's been holding for a while. Then I'll come back to you. Please don't forget your thoughts. Francis, you're live. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Yes, I just want to react to this uh, discussion. Go ahead, please. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, the plan will work, first of all. Nothing comes to it. It's just a short time. With the process we are going, in a short while, we will stand to benefit from it. I strongly believe in what you said. And the monetary policy that is being issued by the MFLA. It's good. Okay. Because like what they said, the politicians are ready. When were they, the governors, when the asses were on strike, are they telling what they don't know the health you know status of this country? Thank you, Francis. Uti, so you, thank you, Francis. Uti, you were saying that, you know, large population on the banked and, um, what's it called, um, cash-driven population that we have. Go bank, ahead. Yeah. So, even the first attempt to um, retrieve these monies that were out in the economy um, largely ostracized those people, right? And those are the people who really need the 2K, the 5K, you know. Then understanding what aspects or what sectors of the economy truly depended on cash. Hmm. Take transportation, for example. People going on buses every day, this is a real life blood of the economy. People being able to move from point A to point B. Cash dependent completely. So in using the data, I mean, we're in the age of data, data-driven um, decisions. Using the data to be able to understand the real impact of this so it's like you're trying to kill an ant and you want to kill one particular ant then use a sledgehammer you kill all the ants around it mm. so you're you're literally trying to say the people that have 150 million the people that have 1 billion 200 million they're not affected by this in the everyday the way the average man is absolutely Uti, please hold the thoughts kyle day from abuja has been holding sorry for keeping you you're live Okay, no problem. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Go ahead. Okay. Um, the reintroduction of the 200 Naira notes. And first of all, starting from the reasons the government gave uh, for the purpose of politicians not buying votes and um, all of that. Now, we that are in the cities, we are complaining. We are facing a lot of issues trying to get money. The people in the villages, they are even far worse off than we are. And now you are, you are introducing to 200 Naira. If you give 5,000 Naira of those to 200 Naira to an electorate during the election, and you tell them right down there in the villages, because in the cities, Basically, there are a lot of uh, election observers. Everybody wants to see what is going on in the city, so they concentrate more in the cities. It is in the villages that election cheating and all kinds of things goes on. If we are denying the larger population right now to get access to money during next week, believe you me, this 2200 naira that they are returning back into the economy, nine, the politicians again will use it to buy votes. Okay. We just need to give a, a common man in the village a thousand naira or two thousand naira. Mm. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> we're having so much calls. Let's take comments quickly, then I'll let Uti to wrap up what she said. Um, Alera, you have a few comments with you. Yes, um, so I have a comment here. As long as this pulls through, this should be one of the biggest gifts 
PBM is going to leave office for, Niger um, for Nigerians with. Let's see how the first time, um, let's see how for, um, the first time we should go, we should be going to the poll without any doubts or, uh, or over the results. This is from Charles um, in Kaduna. Um, there's also another comment from um, Angola. Greetings to you, dashing ladies. Concerning today's topic, I agree with Jenny because I still don't understand the positive impact of reintroducing the old 200 Naira notes back to the system. This is from Gift Offer from Angola. Okay, let me take Loma, then I'll come to you, Jennifer. Time. Go ahead, you're live. Good evening, my dear sister. Good evening. <laughs> um, see, let me just tell us. The plan of our president will work. Okay. If our security men, the DSS, EFCT, the DSS, will not compromise it. Mm. If only the work with the... See, after I listened to the president, I don't quite have for the first time. I don't work out for the president. What mm -hmm. he has done is correcting vote buying, yeah, those money laundering. Let me see how they will carry that 50, what, one more thousand naira notes that they stuck in their cupboard, in the soccer away pit. Let them bring it down, let us see. So the game plan of our president will work out. We okay. are going to vote in a credible candidate. Mm -hmm. So what I'm just saying is that the problem now lies on the tables of the security cases. Who will make sure this particular plan works out? If mm. they compromise, that is the plan of the president will not work. But if they work with the president to make sure that we have a credible candidate, no vote by it, then. But let me just tell our Supreme Court. Supreme Court has made themselves, our president have overruled them, and they don't have power again. But if I have any problem, after the uh, uh, um, General High Court, I will not go to the president to help me because the president <laughs> is the final editor now. I hear you. You better go to our Supreme Court. So let's take some <laughs> comments. <laughs> All right, so I have a comment here that says it's only an illiterate that don't really understand the policy. But the main suffering banks on common man on the streets. Bankers and POS operators was in the system. The solution is if banks play justice with with populate, things will go better. Mm. If only we can just sacrificially endure through these till after elections, like we did with COVID lockdown, it would be a record breaker. Uti, you have a comment, and I, I, I need you to wrap up the conversation for us. All right. So um, this is from our regular fan, Daniel Elo. He says, good evening, my dear beautiful sisters of ways. Now withdraw will PMB's plan work? I really don't understand what PMB's plan is. Whether it will work or not, I really don't know. At least the resurfacing of the 200 naira old note is a very big relief. That way no one will suffer cash shortage. But if he can bring back the 200 naira note, why can't he do likewise to the old 500 and 1,000? <laughs> um, that pastor that died after fasting for 40 days, so he wants to be on the same level as God, um, and he urges you to rest, Ua. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, Second comment says, PMB's broadcast to me has no effect because he is brazenly disobeying the Supreme Court order. Why must we why must we be disobeying court orders, particularly that of the highest in the land? Suspend the policy till uh, the otherwise decided. Like one of you said, there are several bodies to check body laundry, use them to track those you are looking for. I'm not against the policy, but um, as Ua said, there are still some transactions that are not cashless. Hmm. Go ahead, uh, Uti. So I, I need you to wrap up the conversation so we can go in a minute. Just to complete Yeah, so I mean, it's a step in the right direction. It's attempting to, um, I believe it's attempting to find a middle ground, which is to reintroduce some money to alleviate the plight of the common man without totally taking the legs out of um, the policy itself. Um, I like the last comment who talked about the legal ramifications because we also, um, I also sort of looked at that a little bit to say, um, we know that several um, state governments have uh, gone to the Supreme Court and there's an injunction in place. Um, does that mean that the president is basically overriding mm -hmm. the law? Um, but we don't have enough time to sort of dissect that now. Uh, it's a step in the right direction. Um, I like that the messaging around the election has been reinforced. So uh, we all believe that there's an end in sight to the current issues. Um, and we hope that people find some sucker in this money being 
um, released, the final comment for me would be that, of course, implementation is everything. So my, th my final thoughts on this is how quickly will the money be reintroduced? When will the banks then have that money to um, pay out to people? Uh, the element of, so today, you know, ATMs don't pay 200 Naira. Mm. So that means a reconfiguration again of For the ATMs. ATMs, yes. Yeah, to be able to pay 200 Naira. So there are lots of moving parts. So making sure that we've learned from the implementation issues of the past and are able to move um, very quickly. Absolutely. I think on that note, we, we've had a fantastic conversation. <laughs> this matter is, is, is unending. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll really love to, to understand how this would impact in the next few days, right? It, we'll, we'll see the effect, whether it's good or bad. But thank you so much, ladies. Thank you, Alero. Thank you, Uti. And thank you, Jennifer. Now, before we go, ensure you follow us across all our social media handles at Waysho Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment, and most importantly, follow all our engagements on social media. Like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, these are interesting quote. Money often costs too much. <laughs> I think it's costing us too much right now. We should just go cashless already. GTB Bank, they are owing me money. Like two times they've debited my account. They haven't reversed yeah, it. Good. I've been calling my account officer, nowhere to be found. I will start calling them out too. Because now, we don't even have, have the capacity for cashless. Yeah. Do you understand? We have too much things. Nigeria is a unique country. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. I will not be here. Chinelo will take you on. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.